Hi, I'm Jill from June Taylor. New, we have our wonderful insulated lunchbox kits. These are so on the dotted line kits, so super easy to make. The lunch boxes are 10 inches wide, 7 inches tall, and 6 inches deep. So they're actually big enough to hold two lunches. So if you can picture about what a six pack of beverage looks like, that fits right inside here. In fact, that's what we use to design our, our actual pattern. But they are super easy to make and they come with six different zipper colors. So once you purchase your kit after you've selected your fabric, you can pick from a black zipper, white, navy blue, gray, red, or camo. And the zippers are not traditional zippers, they're zippity doo done zippers. So the zipper is actually pre-sewn into a casing. And the casing opens up and that makes it very easy for you to construct these because we're basically sewing two sides and nesting those sides inside our zippity doo done casing. The kits are for beginners. They take about an hour and a half to two hours to make um, and take a, a little over a yard of fabric, half for the outside and half for the lining fabric. Let's look at a couple of our examples here. Here's this gorgeous orange tone-on-tone -tone fabric, and we actually embellished our zippity doo done tan casing here with a little fabric. And this is nice, too, with the shell fabric with a little red and, and yellow. Helps to kind of think like you've got a summer or spring day there. And the flowers are so popular. Such a great uh, idea if you're giving one of these as a gift to somebody. Or if you're sewing for a child or a grandchild, they look really cute in some of these kids' prints, such as this one. This is a little race car theme, and we actually did some um, checkered flag uh, fabric down the zipper here. And one of our all-time favorites is this little panda bear design. This one uses our black zippity doo done zipper. Isn't that cute? And of course, you just can't, you can't go wrong with all the brights. And if you're sewing for somebody who's into hunting, you know, by using camo fabric, with our kit, you get a great look, and it's something that they can either people can take into the woods. You can take these on a plane to travel. Great for uh, keeping foods hot, keeping uh, foods cold, or just in general. I mean, if you want to take one of these to the beach with you, they're perfect to hold a book and your water, and will keep things cold at the same time. So these are our sew on the line. Uh, sewing kits for our lunch boxes, including the Zippity Doo Done pre sewn zipper. Your insulated lunch box is going to come with written instructions, as you see here, a plastic base, and this is going to be used to stabilize the lunch box. You will also have this cording, this is going to be used to put inside the handles of your lunch box. And then you will have one of these six zipper colors black, white, navy, gray, camel, or red. And these are our zippity doo done zippers. So the zipper is actually sewn into a casing. And what we're going to do is just open that casing and we're going to be inserting the two sides of our lunch box right into this casing and straight stitching. Again, this is called zippity doo done and it's in one of these six colors. Your kits will also contain insulated batting that has printing on it. Now you can see this little bit of shininess. That's what tells you it's got the insulation that'll hold things warm or cold. And you'll note that there's a solid line and there's a dotted line. Anytime you see the dotted line, that means it's a sewing line. Anytime you see a solid line, that means it's a cut line. So you're going to get two halves. Here's one half and I flip it over. Here's the other half. So the first thing that we're going to do is start out by trimming about an inch away from that outer solid line all the way around the edge of our lunch tote. And I've got that done here and that looks like this. So my inch border is all the way around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to layer that with our two fabrics. Our two fabrics are going to be right sides together, so that means pretty sides together. Uh, in this case, our pink is going to be the outside of our lunch tote, and the blue will be the inside lining. So put your two rectangles of fabric together, right sides together, and put your printed batting over the top like this. Just line those three layers up just like this. Now, when you're done, you can pin them into place, and then what you're going to do is sew 
on this dotted line all the way around the edge of the lunge tote until you get to the top. Note there is no dotted line here, but there's a solid line. This is the top edge of the tote where we're going to insert the zipper. So this stays open. Everything else is stitched down. Now I've got one of those done here, so let's take a look at what that looks like. And here are my three layers sewn together. Remember we had right sides together, the outside of the bag, the lining of the bag, and our insulated batting. And you can see that we've stitched that all the way around the edge. This is left open. And now what we're going to do is we are going to trim on the solid line. So take your scissors or rotary cutter and trim right on that solid line. We've got that done here. And you can see that everything is trimmed and this is all still open. So our next step is we're now going to put right sides out. So just turn this like this and start pulling right sides out. If you have a, a pointed tool or a wooden pressing tool, that comes in handy so that you can get nice points in the corners right here. So feel free to use that. So this is going to be all turning right sides out. And when that gets done, it looks like this. So I've got that done here. At this point, you can give it a little bit of a press. But you see how we have all of our, our um, corners all nice and sharp. Our next step is to decide if we want any extra quilting on our lunge tote. You can put straight lines in or horizontal lines or cross hatch or you can leave as is because there's going to be two straps that go on top of this and the straps are enough to actually hold the lunch box together. So let's look at the straps. We're going to have you cut um, a piece of fabric four and a half inches wide and what you're going to do is you're going to fold down an inch on that short edge and press. And then you're going to fold the whole thing in half to create a center press line. So this line right here is actually going to be your center line. We'll open that up and then we'll press our raw edges toward that center press line so that basically we have finished edges on all sides. Then we're going to open this back up and we're going to take the braiding that comes in the kit and we're going to set it right at the edge of our pressed, where we pressed that four inch and under. We're going to set that right here and we're going to nest that right into our handle straps here. And then we're going to put, fold one more time like this and we're going to sew on both sides. So basically you're sandwiching this braiding inside the center of the fabric. That's all you're doing. When we have that done, it looks like this. So here is one of our handles. You'll notice we did top stitching on both sides. And you'll also notice that this end right here doesn't have any of the braiding in. And that's important because this is going to go into a seam allowance eventually. Our next step is we're going to measure in six inches from each of the side edges and we're going to take our handle strapping and put that into position, bring it around like this, making sure it's not tangled, and going six inches from this edge. I've estimated that here for the sake of this video, but it, it's about right here. And when we have that done, we're going to stitch right over our stitching lines all the way up to about this point and make an X to reinforce it. And do the same on this side, two stitching lines all the way up to about here and make an X in here to reinforce that. Now we've got that done here. So let's take a look at that. Our straps are now sewn onto one side and you can see the reinforcing X right here. Now we're going to take our zipper, our zippity do done zipper, and what we're going to do is open the casing. This is a, a white zipper that we're going to use for this one. We're going to open the casing of zippity like this, nest our project right inside the casing all the way down, and we're going to sew in a straight stitch. 
So let's get this nested right up in here. You can pin this in place if you want, and you're going to sew in a straight stitch all the way down this finished edge, pretty close to that folded edge, all the way down, sewing in a straight stitch. Now, I've got that done here. So now you can see what that looks like. There's my straight stitch. I'll turn it in the same direction that I had it. Straight stitch like this, so it's all the way down here. And then we are going to take our second side, which is right here, and open up our casing of zippity. And at this point, you just really want to make sure that <clears throat> you're lining um, the two side edges up as best that you can. So just take, make sure that those line up. Nest this side into zippity, and then go ahead and stitch all the way down, as you see here. Once your zipper is sewn down, you can decide if you want to leave it as is or if you'd like to embellish this casing. The casing it really gives you a lot of great opportunities to decorate your lunch bag a little bit more. Um, we did something really simple. We just took a strip of fabric. We took about an inch and a quarter, folded the edges under, pressed it, and you could actually stitch that right over the top of this casing. And that would allow you to add a little contrasting fabric to your lunch tote. You can make that narrower if you want, but we liked kind of that wide look to it. We liked the way the turquoise looked with it. So that's one option. The other option is you could use sewing machine stitches like we've done here to kind of embellish the casing along here, or you could use ribbon. So, or you could even use rickrack, but if you, if you want to decorate that casing of zippity, sewing machine stitches, ribbon, fabric, all look really great together. So now I've basically got my lunch box in good shape. We're going to fold right sides together and we're going to stitch the bottom. So I'm going to take this edge, bring it over to this edge, and we're going to sew right sides in a half seam, a half inch seam allowance all the way across the bottom. And all that will be left are to be to sewing the sides and the gussets. So when the bottom is sewn, that looks like this. So here's my bottom sewn. And then what you're going to do is fold in the other direction. And you're going to basically open up that bottom seam allowance and center it right over the middle of the zipper like this. And that's how we'll know that our two sides match. So once you've got that done, you're going to sew in a half inch seam allowance across the sides. And we have that done here. Once that's done, the last step is to deal with these open corners. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our zipper is open a little bit because we're going to end up having to turn right sides out when we're done. So make sure your zippity is open a little bit. And then what we're going to do is to take those open corners and grab them in the other direction like this so that my side seams end up right in the middle of this left side of, the, of the, the lunch tote, and we're going to sew in a half inch seam allowance. Turn it over and do the exact same thing. So this is what it looks like when you get started. You're going to just open it up like this, and you're going to actually right sides together and sew in a half inch seam allowance right over the top. We usually open that seam allowance up from the side and then sew. When that's all done, we go to back to our zipper and we turn right sides out. And once we turn right sides out, we have our completed lunch tote. And it is absolutely perfect on all sides. And then we can open it up and you can either have your plastic base as is, or we covered ours with fabric because we thought it added just another little level of detail that we liked and it also matched the lining. So you can put your little plastic insert in like this and start filling it with your hot or cold food and you have got your wonderful completed lunch tote. Just wanted to point out one other detail on this one. 
Um, we did, um, on this version, prior to putting the straps on, we added a little bit more detail in the stitching, so I wanted to show you what that looks like. Again, the straps are enough, to, enough quilting to hold it all together, but if you want to add a little detail, you can add um, some additional stitching prior to putting the straps on. It sews up so beautifully, and everything matches up, and it's a really fun project to make. We hope you enjoy making yours, and when you get it done, send us a picture. We'd love to see your end project.